class, I know that generally we would have a snow day today, but since we didn't really get started very well last week, I wanted to go ahead and move on this week by providing you with a uh, an update of the syllabus as well as the first two lectures that we had already planned to do. So what I'm going to do uh, with this recording is show you some of the changes that I've made to the syllabus and some of the clarifications. And uh, then after I go through the syllabus, then I'm going to uh, create a narration of each of the PowerPoints that I was going to do for this evening. So all you need to do is look through these three PowerPoints uh, and I'm going to also upload them to YouTube and create a link. So basically what you have to do is listen to the YouTube video associated with the syllabus and with chapter one and chapter two. Then that way next week we will continue on with chapter three and we won't be behind. So we're going to update the syllabus. Okay, here is the first few weeks of the syllabus. And as you can see, today is the day that we were going to do chapter one and uh, chapter two. And I'm going to create those PowerPoints so that you can review that material. And then we can move on next week in uh, when we get to next Wednesday night, hopefully it won't be snowing, and we will be talking about the external environment. The external environment is a really important element of strategy, and it is uh, part of the analysis tools that you want to learn for this course. However, in the business strategy game, we don't really have uh, a lot of use for our typical um, Porter uh, forces analysis or our pestle uh, environmental analysis frameworks. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, review that material and create an assignment associated with that material early in the semester before we start the game. So uh, the external environment is the next topic that we will start next week. So as you can see, there are um, the same type of pattern of a learn smart assignment, a quiz, and then an activity in the chapter. Now, just like with this week, these assignments are due on the 31st. However, it would be better if for each week when a, a chapter is assigned, you go ahead and do the chapter when it is assigned. I am giving you a little leeway as you get your connect set up, as we get the semester underway and so forth. The other thing that I want to point out is that I would like you to look at the Linda assignments associated with this day. And I'm trying to get you, get you to go ahead and do these as well. Again, you've got some flexibility. These assignments, all of the five Linda assignments are due and the submission portals associated with them are closed on uh, right before spring break. So if you can get these done, uh, actually right after spring break. Uh, if you get behind, you still have time to do them. But again, try to get them done as they're assigned because they will help you during the class itself. Now, what do you have to do for the Linda assignment? Uh, go to the Linda uh, playlist and then click on assignment one and assignment two. What you will do is you will listen to the videos associated with the Linda course and then um, answer the questions on the quiz. When you have done both of those things, both listen to the videos and answer the quiz questions, the uh, Linda system will award you a certificate. Now you can take a screenshot of that certificate award or you can download the PDF that actually shows the certification and upload that folder or that file, excuse me, into Blackboard. So I've set up five submission portals, one for each one of the Linda assignments. And what you're going to do is now just uh, accomplish those tasks, upload the evidence of completion, and you will get the points associated with that. Uh, also, you should go ahead and indicate that you have received a Linda certificate on your LinkedIn profile if you have one. That's always a good way to um, add skills to your LinkedIn profile, which will make you more attractive to recruiters. The other thing that I want to point out to you that is on the syllabus now that was not there before is uh, a team assignment. 
So in this case, it's Team A. So I will also upload to Blackboard uh, the team assignments. So there'll be five teams. Uh, there'll be two people in each team, and one team will have three people. So the teams are identified by alphabet because that will also be the team that you will be working with for the business strategy game. So team A, so every week that we have actually a reading, I'm now assigning a team to summarize three key takeaways from the chapter and uh, create some kind of digital summary for your classmates. You do not have to outline the chapter or you do not have to uh, outline the article, but rather what I want you to do is think about what do you think the most important elements of the reading are that for someone who is a business professional, what do they need to take away from that? What do they need to take away with that? So, uh, so three key takeaways, uh, bullet points and perhaps a paragraph that explain the bullet point. And then I also want the team to come up with three questions that you think would be useful to discuss during class. So they should be related to the actual assignment of the readings, uh, something perhaps that you think needs to be explained more or something that you think is uh, particularly of interest uh, that you want to highlight or that you'd like to discuss. Uh, every team will have one of these assignments. On the 31st, we will have an industry assignment. So it's an industry case analysis. And what I'm going to have you do is analyze the uh, U.S. retail apparel industry. And there is already material put in Blackboard. There's a folder in Blackboard associated with this assignment and uh, what and the instructions associated with this assignment. So the information that we will be talking about on the 31st, I want you to use to do the industry case analysis uh, that will be due at six o'clock on the 31st. So there's a lot going on uh, in the class. Uh, and this is why, again, I didn't want to lose ground by losing a day. So. Uh, on the 31st, your case analysis will be due. There is a folder already set up. The assignment is there. The submission portal is there. Uh, the instructions are there. However, there's no need to go ahead and start it. Uh, you can wait until next week. What you might want to do is go ahead and look at the material. There are uh, two basic uh, industry evaluations. Uh, that come from market line. One is on the online retail uh, industry and the other is on the retail apparel industry. And you're going to be able to focus on the apparel industry because the retail industry is just so big. Um, so anyway, uh, there's those two and then there are two smaller articles about whether or not uh, bricks and mortar retail is going away. So that's what I want you to think about. Uh, in the industry analysis, generally the conclusions you reach from the analysis have to do with how the industry itself is changing, how the porter structural elements are changing, and how that is leading to opportunities and threats in the environment. We'll talk more about that next week. Uh, as we go on down and we look at the next section, which starts on February 7th, uh, again, you can see that there is a, a team assignment here. Team B is going to have the assignment for Chapter 5, and Team C is going to have the chapter assignment for, team, for um, Chapter 4. So yes, I know these are in reverse order, but that's the way I want to talk about it. So Chapter 5 is the generic competitive strategies, and then Chapter 4 is the value. So as you can see, everyone has uh, an assignment for a reading and summarizing the reading and then coming up with three good questions. On the 21st, we will have our first exam and the first exam will be over um, the materials mostly associated with uh, the readings and the chapters and the discussion in class. So, uh, so the exam is mostly over the content. On the 28th, we start uh, the business strategy game. So by that time, you should have bought the business strategy game or bought access to the business strategy game. You should have read the um, player's guide. And by six o'clock on the 28th, you should have taken the first quiz associated with the player's guide. Now there is also a new folder in the Blackboard that uh, we'll be using uh, during this time as we actually also look at 
uh, the screens the screens and the decisions and the analysis and so forth associated with the game but uh, there's a folder that shows you a lot of the screens and also uh, gives you uh, hints and guides for each of those screens so there's a lot of material you don't have to read all of this ahead of time but it is really useful and one of the keys to the game is that the more you know the better you play the game uh, so by the 28th you should have really looked at the game you should have some idea about how the game works and you should be ready to go so then we have spring break and after spring break we come back and we start the business strategy game on the 14th and in uh, uh, year 12 so every uh, week you will uh, have the decisions that are in the business strategy game and there are several screens worth of decisions you'll have those due at midnight so you will have the time between three and nine to work together as a group but then at midnight the uh, year will close and your decisions whatever they are at that point will be incorporated into the game and at 1215 you will get the results and you will find out how you did relative to everyone else uh, we'll talk a lot more about the business strategy game uh, prior to spring break but as you can see after spring break there's one big lecture which is a lecture on SWOT analysis and strategic planning that is due before you do your second quiz and uh, before the end of uh, year 13 so in year 13 there's a couple of things I want to point your attention to one is these things called group decision analysis submissions so I have an Excel file which is going to really help you uh, think about how you need to analyze the information in the game which is one of the big challenges uh, that I learned that students have and I learned that this from you know working with students in the game last semester so I've created these decision submission uh, tools to kind of help you walk through some of the basic data that you're going to need to think about before you start making your decisions this is not all of the analysis that you'll do but this will get you started so uh, your analysis uh, though the those decision analysis submissions also close at uh, midnight and also you will have a peer evaluation that'll close at night as we move through uh, March you can see that um, we're still doing the business strategy game and everything ends at midnight as we get to the uh, to the end there will be a couple of strategic planning uh, options that you will have to do you'll get the score from the best one that is in the game these are decisions additional decisions that you have to put into the game and uh, we'll talk more about what's associated with that but there's some assignments associated with that as well and then finally we get to the end of the semester and I want to point out three things one is that the uh, uh, the game ends on the 27th and that there are going to be three decision rounds really close together so you will have to do some decision making and they'll be due at the beginning of class will be uh, year 17 year 18 will be due uh, at midnight and then uh, year 19 will be due at midnight uh, on that Friday so you'll have three by that time though you should be pretty clear on what decisions you're making and you'll be working a lot faster than you will at the beginning and then on the 2nd of uh, May which is our last class period uh, we're going to have our in-class debrief and uh, you all will be doing presentations and again there's a folder there's a submission portal and we'll talk a lot more about what I expect as of May 2nd uh, the open book exam 2 final exam starts you have until May 9th to decide when you want to start it you'll have three hours to do the exam and then that'll be the end of the course so uh, I, I think you can see that now I've gotten uh, the class pretty well organized the things on the syllabus match with the folders that are in Blackboard and if you do have any questions as you review the material this week and the and prepare for next week uh, please send me an email and let me know I'll be happy to answer any questions okay thank you bye bye